Hello everybody, how's it going out there? We're gonna fire up a game of civilization just like we always do. And uh, one of the civilizations I've been neglecting is uh, India. I haven't been playing India too much. They're uh, not a powerhouse, but they're certainly no pushovers either. They have enough tools to be interesting. I think my headset's on, so I don't give you guys any feedback tonight. That'd be no good. <clears throat> Turn these uh, speakers off real quick. I don't think we'll be getting any Knights Templar with our starting settlers tonight. I don't think that's ever going to happen ever again in the history of mankind. That's just... I, on, I honestly wish I could calculate the odds of that happening. Finding Knights Templar. Where they're starting settler. That's unbelievable. I can't believe we did that last time. So let's talk about the Indians a little bit. Probably... They have some really cool... Some pretty cool uh, perks here. Uh, they, they, you know, they start with access to all resources. Uh, some people complain about that just because... You don't get full access to the resource, right? So, say you get a whale, but really you only get one, one apple or one food in the ancient era. So, it depends on what era you're in. So, if you're in the second era, then you'll get two food. So, it's kind of like mitigated, and they uh, crank that back, and I can understand why. Uh, if, you had, if you had some crazy resource like uranium or uh, oil, it could be pretty OP. India is your favorite? Yeah. I feel like I'm not that great with India. I'm going to be honest with you. I feel like I always mess up and don't capitalize properly. So maybe you guys can maybe help me out tonight. I always feel like I'm not playing them right. Because they have some cool stuff going for them, but I feel like I'm not really using them properly. They have uh, cities not affected by anarchy. So really you could swap over your government for one turn if you needed to do something like that. It was the use case that comes to mind for me is uh, something like switching to fundamentalism just to flatten a city and then swapping right back to, say, democracy or republic or whatever and resume your expansion phase. Uh, that can be really handy because sometimes when you switch to democracy with other governments, you kind of feel stuck. You're like, damn, you know, I'm kind of stuck with this government. Um, changing is too much of a... It's basically a two-turn resource killer. Yeah, and then uh, five, and then you get religion at five texts in, which is pretty early. And that means you can swap over to fundamentalism, just like the Arabs start with them. So, uh, I mean, you could be very effective. That could be the, give you the edge you need to, like, say, take out an army of archers or something like that. Um, and it could certainly make your knight, atta your knight army attack very powerful. could give you, uh, what's that, like 22.5 or something like that. So they're certainly good. And then one that's inter interesting to me, especially tonight, is the half-cost settlers. So that means in uh, industrial era, you're talking about 40 cost rush, 40 gold to rush the settler in the industrial era. So that's a little bit of a gray area for me. I feel like I should be in democracy by that point, though. I feel like medieval is really the expansion era. So it's like... I feel like by the time you're getting to industrial, you should be thinking about democracy and changing over. I don't know, man. Or maybe you just stick with Republic and just keep going. Or maybe you just have more of a flat tech tree growth with the Indians and just kind of like, instead of like tech jumping so much, just kind of rush to 14 techs as fast as you can so that you can get that awesome industrial era bonus. Uh, one of the best starting resources you could get is I would, let's see what we got here. Well, we got a, we got some oxen right here. So here's an example. You know, this is one hammer. And that's cool, but that's not really going to work. What you really want is something like oak. Or, uh, as the chat says there, oak or dye. Dye would be nice. Uh, where the heck are we? We're kind of in the south here. Slow build, stupid strong. Can understand that, but I just expand all game. 
Like your 14 techs go to the cities are still, yeah. Yeah, so you basically have cheap expansion in democracy. So basically it costs you less gold at that point. So yeah, I suppose so. It's certainly a good thing. Half cost settlers is always a great thing. And not many, it's not many civs get that. So let's see if we can find somewhere worth planning a city. Let's go up here. What's going on here? Um, like this could be an okay spot. Just put this at least situates me a little bit closer to the action. Um, took me three turns to get over here though, and I didn't get anything any goodies. So that kind of makes me bummed. If I planted way over here, I would have been running and running and running. It would take me a long time to get over here. This might kind of place me into action a little bit more. So. This could be okay. I'm kind of not pleased with it though. I, I'm getting greedy. Woo! Let's see what I get shown here. Alright. Let's go over here. Oh, I wish I could have planted right over here. This would have been solid. Don't think this will work. We'll see what happens, though. Damn it! I want a free capital. Yeah, I'm greedy. So what? Yeah, I think that's too late. Too late. Too late, buddy. Should have been a couple turns earlier. Interesting map, though. Hey, Stevie P94. Glad you can make it today. Break it. Ah, I'm gonna die. Ah. So, let's just restart. I'm kind of looking for a start that's a little more interesting. Whoops. Didn't really care for that map so much. Let's try again. That's alright, man. We're still kind of looking for a nice start. A favorable start. Something that looks juicy. Yeah, I know. Rubber and uranium and oil. I mean, by the time you're getting oil, the game's over at that point, so. Everyone else, not so much. <laughs> you know what this reminds me of? Doing these little, uh, <laughs> the Zulu, yes. Zulu are a fresh source of stress, of uh, frustration for many of us. Ooh, look at this weird. Oh, I don't know where it is. I don't know where it is. Where is this thing taking me? Look at all this grip. Wow, look at all these planes. Oh my goodness, this is not good. I just ran down a peninsula. I don't think I can recover from this. Ran down the wrong way of a peninsula, boys. 
looked bad. Yeah, there's no way. Pretty cool little map here, though. <laughs> yeah, it's amazing how much a bad start can really screw you over in this game. In fact, I was about to say, I often kind of feel like these beginning starts in Civ Rev. These beginning starts remind me of uh, doing like, what they call magic finding. Or looking for rare rare loot in a game like Diablo or something like that. You're just waiting for that rare drop, the amazing start. You're looking for the Knights Templar right next to your settlers. Something that'll that's like the equivalent of finding like one of the rarest items in the game in Diablo 2. My favorite is like a a, set, a little friendly hut on my way to an enemy capital. That's a beautiful thing. This isn't a bad little start. I got spices. Of course, I'm not going to be happy with that. I'm going to be totally greedy. Interesting. Oh. Oh, I went the wrong way. Oh, this thing's killing me. <laughs> I can't get any money. Nah, I can, I, that ain't gonna do. Restart. Ran in circles for like five turns. Tried playing a game of multiplayer the other day. Something that is not my specialty right now. I think I could be just fine at multiplayer. I have to be honest, I don't think multiplayer is really that enjoyable in this game. This game was clearly designed for single player. It can be fun, don't get me wrong. There's a lot of waiting around. A lot of waiting around. And a lot of silly little games that you have to play, like waiting for the end of your turn so that you can be extra sneaky and chain two moves into each other. Uh, I just don't find it. Whoa, what is this crazy map? <laughs> Look at this map. What in the world? In multiplayer? Yeah, I think. Pretty much, unless you want to hang out and take a year and an hour and a half to get one win. Pretty much everyone goes for domination. That looks like an island map, maybe. Not this time. We're not going for an island game. Maybe I should have played the island game. I don't know. Could be. Reroll, reroll, reroll. <laughs> that would be an interesting multiplayer start. I think multiplayer would be a little bit more interesting if it was like everyone had to use the Russians and the map that was actually designed for multiplayer and even. So it's like if I just find it hard to take seriously. There's just too much waiting, too. Alright. Let's see here. Oh, look, die. Look at that, guys. Yeah! 10 gold. Rich. More.
Right, so they're popping out their warrior like next turn. Let's see what happens here. No, oh, he just stayed in there. Let's see what he does here. I wonder if that'll work. I don't think it will. That won't work, will it? He'll run away from his capital, I believe. What? What's wrong with this guy? Okay. All right, I'll take it. I thought for sure he would, uh, I thought he would defend the city there. So that was just kind of an interesting AI experiment for me. More than anything. We're going to need horses right away because we just don't, we're kind of far, kind of far from everything. Nice city, Japan. Nice city. Eat Stroganov. Eat Stroganov. Let's see. Alphabet. Kind of have a production problem here. Because I'm sharing these trees, but that's life, I guess. Just have to see what we can do about that. Yeah, he didn't grow it or anything. I need some horsies. I'm so far away. I don't think I'm just going to be able to... The distance is a bit much. I'm going to have to just... Find enemy capitals and try to do something useful. Guys injured. Damn. Still can't rush that guy. Boat across the canal. Yeah, maybe. Probably looking at archer armies at this point, though. Oh, look at that. Okay, that'll help. And this will help too in terms of getting some intel. We're on a mega peninsula right here, so. Need a boat. Need a boy. Boat. Boat boy. Boat boys. Can we get a boat? I don't think we can. We need money. We have no money. So this guy's going to have to get his money. Get us money. Go get us money. It is very lonely down here. Let's see what's up here. Anything cool? Anything cool? Nope. Damn. Cannot find anything. Spanish. Miles and miles away. Could lock out the AI pretty easily. Right here. Uh, okay. Okay. I feel like I'm really far from these guys. Uh, don't want to get kidnapped. 
Oh, sweet. Could use that. <laughs> I don't know. Something wrong with them. They don't speak English. They speak jibber jabber. What's over here? Anything cool? Hmm. I don't think this guy's gonna capture me because... Oh! Found the Arabs. He's only got... Only has two barbarians in there. They shouldn't run out. And I hope they don't prove me wrong here. Okay, thank you. Could always get a surprise, though. I'm out of the gates really late, I feel. You guys are like... Oh, look at this. Damn. It's like huts on the map, but they're like a million miles away. What's going on, Cholo Jesus? Need to get some gold. One, yeah. I just need to ch check this guy in. There's too much. I need money right, right now. And at least get. Well. Looks like the Spanish are next to a hill over here. Hey man, thanks. Appreciate that. Some goodies in my cup. Look at them go. Look at them go. There they go. Whoa! Dude, looked like some fell out. Okay. Man, these guys are far away. Distance can be real killer in this game. Wow. Hey, smokums. What's going on? There we go. That helps. No, Madrid's not next to a hill. How many horses do I have? Do I have? I have four. Four horses. We'll make two more and then um, shift over. That should be enough to keep keep the AI on their toes. Three, four, five. Yep. Got a nice little choke right here. No one's getting in by land anytime soon that's kind of nice this happens a lot in multiplayer people will uh set up these little choke fortresses with like a solitary archer it makes it really hard to get into your city especially for like zulu opponents that's actually what happened to me when i played multiplayer i got locked out by the time i had a boat a boat drop ready to come attack the city it was just like the guy had galleys and everything else it had a uh, catapults and had a knight army it was ridiculous so I lost that game. It was very sad. I'm 
gonna freak them out. Sit around too close to their little capital. Just need one more. Actually, might as well take him back this way. Should just make an army with these guys. <laughs> if I even get it, I need some resources. I need some huts. Oh, goodness. The Arabs took that one. Did not get there. I should have went the other way. That was not smart. Oh, well. Yeah, you always get an artist, it seems. You guys have money? Give me some money. Yeah, you do have money. Should have came here earlier. You guys are loaded. Here we go. So here we go. I, I had an okay start here, but it's like, oh, okay. Can deal with that. One scientist. All right. Who thinks I should rush code of laws? Let's see here. Well, we got die. this thing. I don't see anything beautiful. This guy's cool, I guess. Um, yeah, see, by this time, I had so much rolling for me with the Chinese already. This is taking too long to develop. Anything really good here I could rush? I mean, even literacy wouldn't be too bad. It's a good one to be sure that you get that. 
Complete literacy. That way we make sure we get an important bonus before anyone else does. Best move in that situation? I'm, I don't know. Tough call. Maybe not. Maybe not. Oh man. That was traumatizing. Should be able to swap the fundamentalism next turn here. Boy, that's kind of annoying. I don't like that. <laughs> uh, uh, it's kind of yucky. Three to one. I know I can lose that. I'm going to have to retreat. At least we can get a settler here. That's how we're getting. I was wondering how we we're getting 10 a turn there. Forgot about the literacy bonus helping us out. Uh, they got a humanitarian over there. It'll take about 20 years to rent him back. So even though you can change your government, it's kind of annoying because it doesn't really kick in until the next turn. So it's really not an instant swap. Might as well throw them on the boat. It's like right there. So I think it's worthwhile to put them on there. This would be a good little spot right here, to be honest. The fish is over here, though. But we could take advantage of that here. So, yeah. Let's just continue. Whoa, look at these guys.
the heck are these guys doing? They're like miles away from their capital. <laughs> That's good to know, man. Yeah, I mean, I'm sure a lot of these tactics will translate to multiplayer, but I definitely focus mainly on single player. Oh. Whoop, 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 whoa, hey. Oh, okay, whatever. Guess this game really wants me to be over here right now. What the hell? Sixty gold. Let's hold off on that. Not in uh, the right government quite yet. Uh, we're gonna get code of laws next turn. I mean, seriously, come on, Spain. What are you doing? You guys got a guy way over here. Guys are nuts. What in the hell? Are you serious? That was a little frightening. That was lucky. Yeah. This is why you declare peace when you can. That could have been terrible. Uh, Republic? I mean, I kind of got to go Republic. I don't really have time for all this fundamentalism stuff. Currency would be great. All right. All right. Time to get some gold. Hello, England. Finally found them. That's everybody, I believe. You guys want to buy some stuff? Cool. I'll sell you guys all kinds of stuff. Ceremonial burial? You guys will love this. I know. I am snoozing on it. Uh, horseback riding? You guys want horseback riding? Here you go. Alright, I'm not going to sell you too much. Let's be reasonable. So that's everybody in the game. I'll have to re go talk to them again to get some more map knowledge from them. Get these guys at least. Plan a nice little city here somewhere. Uh, what I need is trees, so let's go here. Trees, trees, trees. Actually, I got marble here too, so this is nice. So right now we're in the settler harassment phase. Try to harass their settlers as much as we can. Try to upgrade our little horse armies. Try to steal this humanitarian and 
get something good going here. Need currency too. Ugh. Need currency. You know what? I don't even think I have bronze working. Which is kind of stupid. Yeah. See, I'm researching currency, but I don't even have bronze working, so that's kind of a problem because it's making it more expensive. Uh, a lot of times, the only resources you really need are water, Mike. So, a lot of times, as long as you have like two or three trade, when you're going for a mass city expansion, you really just need like a couple water tiles, really. Three would be ideal. At least three would be nice, but two's okay. Oh, oh no, 510. Thanks for the follow, man. Here comes, oh, here, it's going to go in the glass. Here it comes. Oh! Boing, 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 boing. Uh, this is causing great consternation for me. I don't really want to, uh, I really don't want to research bronze working at this point. But everything kind of is making me go back here. Ugh, can't backfill this stuff. I feel like I should swap back to science. Brioli 4. Hey, you know, I think that's my 200th follow. So, hooray. That's cool. Very good, very good. Growth in all sectors. I like it. Um, I feel like we're going to have to research bronze working. Pains me to say it. Because that will complete pottery, and then it'll make currency cheaper. I just kind of want currency during this expansion phase. I want to market somewhere. Want to market? If I could find a nice place to put a like, this could actually be a pretty awesome. Yeah, I should run this guy up here. You see this right here? I, oh, damn. So everyone's signing up. We're going mega viral. Holy cow. So this right here would be a nice like setup for a, a nice little city with a market right here. This would be nice. We've got fish, we got it, and we got uh, some dye right there. So let's get bronze working in one turn, first of all. Let's see if we can do that. Can we do that? Let's do that. Here we go. It's over here. Let's go look. So we get bronze working next turn, and then we can go to currency. Think about doing something cool. You guys want to give us iron working or what? Iron working. I don't want to give this guy peace. Well, I don't want a peace agreement, I should say. Alright, so we spent our gold. The biggest Civ Rev streamer out there. Bro, I am the only Civ Rev streamer. The only one. I love this game. And I wish I shall stream it. At all times. All At all times that I can stream it. Uh, let's see. Alright, so we backfilled pottery. That's important. Because you can't win without pottery. Proven fact. And currency. 
I really want to get a nice little city. The reason I want to get a nice little trade city, obviously that'll help me with my expansion phase. Now this guy's look, this guy's scared. Psych. We shall have no peace. I really want. I want to upgrade these horse armies. I want to get, uh, you know, veteran. I want to get him elite status so that I can be formidable on the battlefield here. I can get some good intel up on this corner here. Uh, what's going on over here? Nothing really. Nothing good going on here. I don't really see a lot of dye or anything. A fish. Nothing really that good though on this map. I guess this is kind of cool. Whatever. Yeah, that means I'm the world record holder in everything. That's what I realized. Oh! It's another one. Welcome, J Dog. Glad you could join up. Nice city. I feel like I should prioritize this and get this uh, tech finished up and then we'll go back. We'll go back after. Get it in three turns. I feel like that's reasonable. Damn. Alright. This is a good little city, man. I like this. Get it in two turns. That's not too bad. Not too bad at all. Could use some artifacts. Any artifacts around here? Anyone? Bueller? Alright. Let's uh let's get currency. Population in city is not important. Uh, it's important, but it's not as important as expanding. A big city is nice, but it's always easier to expand than it is to grow a city. Expanding, and especially in Republic, so. Alright, I have to pretend I'm not watching the Spanish, so I'm going to go over here. The computer definitely pays attention to that. Like, if they think you're watching them like a hawk, they will, like, hunker down and just get into the fetal position and they will not expand. They won't do anything. I was just kidding, Spain. I was just kidding. Red peace. Yeah, we're at peace, man. I have knowledge for sale, though. I would like to sell you this awesome technology. It's perfect for you guys. Code of laws. You would love it. You guys should definitely switch your government to Republic and start giving me settlers. That would be awesome. Think about it. Think about it, Saladin. Oop, oop, oop. Please give it to me in my dice city. Very nasty. Very nasty. Put it in my very nasty city. And... Okay. Damn it. Okay. Whoa, look at this. Ha ha ha! I love when they do that. It's 
What's over here? I have no idea what's over here. I'm gonna have to go expl explore. Um, all right. I have to go into a. Transitional phase here. Where I'm kind of expanding and kind of teching. But you, you need to expand. This guy needs to go to gold. Alright, so that's not too bad. And we're going to get some. Oh, I need some more. Need five more. I want to get this in one turn. It's going to have to be you. It's going to have to be you. One turn's important. And uh, I think you're getting irrigation bonus is worth it at this point. We got a fair number of cities. Whoa, what's going on? Ah, oh, look, they're expanding. It's so cute. Yeah, I love that irrigation bonus as long as you can get it first, obviously. Can I get, can I get it for free? Maybe. Let's see. Nope. Whoa! 255 gold. Holy cow. Wow. That's a lot of gold there. Okay. I am definitely dropping that guy off at Tripoli. There's no doubt. What is over here? I really want to explore. The real shame about this spot is there's no trees. No trees at all. Need trees to expand. More efficiently, anyway. Alrighty. What do we got here? It's not enough. Not enough, not enough. Not enough for one turn, that's a shame. That's too bad. Not gonna happen. Look at that. Look at this. There's a pretty weird little wall right here. Are you serious? Yeah, they need to release another one. I'm getting pretty tired of them uh, pretending this game didn't make them millions of dollars. Come on. What's wrong with you guys? It's going to be a lot of gold. When I drop that guy off finally. Caravan only economic victory. That's hilarious. Uh Look at this guy. What does this guy think he's doing? <laughs> oh boy. Send him to Madrid. Caravan only economic victory. That's pretty funny. Maybe. There they are. So, these guys are actually connected up here, it looks like. So, interesting. I'm surprised the, Ar the uh, Arabs here are sending out a full archer army. 
They're obviously feeling a little bit nervous, I guess. It's a pretty serious expansion effort. Sixty-four gold. What to do? What to do? I could send one over here. Question is, could I? No, uh, I can't use them. That's too bad. Uh, that's too bad. Could a new civilization game be coming to Xbox One? Oh man, that's a nice little link right there. Let's see what we got here. It better! Come on, Sid Meier. I'm gonna have to read that little article later. That's pretty juicy. All right, so we're going to get a lot of population here. A lot, a lot, a lot. Because we're going to get the great humanitarian that we stole and this irrigation bonus. That's really cool. That's going to help us out quite a bit. Let's swap over to hammers since we're overflowing quite a lot. And that's a, a real waste if you don't. If you just let it do it that way, so. Um, yeah, it's a little, a little better. There we go. It's about as good as it's going to get. That's every tree I really have. A Mongol's economic victory. Yeah. I actually kind of I actually want to do a video all 64 videos of every type of victory so I can at least point to one video and say, "Here's a here's a victory on a free for all deity random map." You know, here's the best I did. You know, why don't you give it a whirl and see how what kind of time you get. And of course, that depends a lot what kind of map you get and all that, but that's okay. You know, it's just part of the fun. Just trying to give people something to aim for. A lot of times, that's if they have something to aim for, they'll feel like you know there's something. If you can't, if you have nothing to aim at, it's like what are you doing? All right, let's see how this goes here. Oh. All right, so we got that. That's a good thing. Man, if they come out with a new civilization revolution, that would be the greatest thing to ever happen to my channel. Ever. Uh, let's get math. How many texts do I have? I have 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. So one more. One more I get cheap. Dirt cheap settlers. That's what happens. All right, let's go for democracy. Yeah, man, I have a, a million and one ideas, that's for sure. Let's use this guy later. I'm not going to forget. I always tell myself I'm not going to forget, and then I end up forgetting. Heal up. Oh man, you're not too late at all. We're only in 100 BC. Welcome, Poka PJ. We're just uh, seeing what we can accomplish with the Indians here. I am like a pretty pathetic Indian player, but I'm going to give it my best here. They're out in the open here. All right. I don't know if it's worth that culture right there. <laughs> Zero AD. 
I'm good, man, but I'm not that good with the Indians. That is for sure. Zero AD is an amazing time. So. Alright. Square these cities away a little bit. Sorry to disappoint you, man. You could get zero AD with the Americans. I, I mean, I'm, I'm kind of saving them just because they're so broken. And I'll kind of leave them for later. <laughs> There's no really... I think everyone knows they're just going to knock it out of the park. The Americans are ridiculous. I'm pretty sure BC non-domination victories are possible on a random map with the Americans. I have no doubt. So we use our humanitarian right there. And we're going to try to allocate everything in a way that makes sense. The city is expanding. This city is also kind of expanding. Whew. So much expanding. Okay. Man, I don't even know what to do with all this. This city is going to help us a lot. That's a lot of gold. And it's growing too. It's got some fishies. Should be good. And this one should help too. How much tech are we pulling in? 47? So democracy in three turns. What are these guys doing? Alright, clobbering them on tech at this point. Oh! Great purse, great builder. Did you see that? I saw that. Oops. Let's see what happens here. Here we go. Oh my goodness, are you serious? Oh, what a clown, what a clown. Whoa, look at all this gold. Shiraz, where's Shiraz? This city? Wow, it's a lot of gold. I have a feeling there's not much there. And... It'd be really nice to get navigation to help with my expansion here too. I don't think I can mess with this guy right here. He kind of walled me up pretty good. He pushed my horse army back. That hurt my feelings. That's alright though. Not a lot of good tree spots. Like honestly. Put this guy right down here. Where can we expand some? Expand from here. These man, these places are huge. Just shocked how 
so much. Getting so much population from all these uh, irrigation bonuses and everything else. Um, Got to fill out that area there. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. That could be bad. <laughs> they might wipe me out, man. We'll see. Might lose my horses right here. Here. I know he has a legion, so I don't want him to wipe that army out. Come on. I'm giving you writing. Stop being such a baby. Alright, whatever. I'm just gonna take a risk. I think we got this one. Come on, give me something good. Nope. Alright, that guy's gonna have to wait. No production here. What a shame. A lot of hills and everything else. Kind of making it tough on me. What's up? Oh, hey, 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 hey. What's going on there, buddy? Don't think we'll be cracking this city with that full archer army. And not cool enough to get in there. Not quite cool enough. Play it cool, just play it cool. Alright, now they want to be at peace. I don't really trust him though. He's a little bit too close to my city. A little too close to the city. Let's get one archer. It might make me feel a little bit better. A little bit better. Let's get democracy, eh? Let's... Alright. We can... We gave a minor concession to that... To those guys. Now we got half-cost settlers, so that's very important, obviously. And a pikeman. So that's cool. Uh, so we're gonna have to play the... Democracy game now. So now we can only really attack people that attack us. So let's get navigation, make use of some whales here. Uh, someone, the Arabs got math, so that's a no-go for us. We're going to need engineering, invention. So might as well go that route, get a great person out of it. Okay, whatever. Yeah. Um, let's wait on that for a moment. Gonna get a bunch of money here, so that's cool. Money, money, money. I like 300 gold. <laughs> wow, look at all that gold. It's amazing. We even got enough room in the budget to expand and everything.
going to be a lot more expensive to expand now, but okay. here yeah this is not yeah look how cheap the settlers are now what's going on medusa brove just in time uh let's see let's bring this guy over here it's a good little spot Move this guy. Huh. Looking right here. See if I can culture flip this little town here. Mm. You will culture flip. Okay. I want to have at least 250 gold left here when I'm all done. So let's go ahead and... Ooh. Not really a great expansion city right here. This guy will do. What about over here? 40 gold. Man, that's pretty good. No reason to stop. Keep going. Get these guys rolling. Who else can expand? 16. That's good. You're good. Pop him out. Man, this is pretty darn cheap. All right. What else? Might as well expand here. There's no reason not to. It's so cheap. Spreading like herpes. That's right. That could be a good little spot. Okay. How are we looking? Pretty good. They already expanded. And now, let's go ahead and get this. I think it's worth it. Go from eight to what? Got banking. Pop out some more guys here. Got a bunch of dudes here. Uh, how shall we plan this out? 
Got some dye here. Looks nice. One, two, three. Got to plan the city placement out a little bit. So it's not all messed up. Let's make good use of your tiles. Like, I don't really want to put that there. It's kind of a waste. You can have these work this tile, and then... This could be an okay city, honestly. This is a decent little city right here. The only problem is no real way to grow. So that's kind of a bummer. Let's just run over here. Keep on spreading. Keep on spreading. So ever since we got that settler bonus, we're expanding at a pretty good little clip here. able to stay on technology which is kind of nice haven't had to flip back to gold just because I got so much from those <laughs> caravans it's pretty crazy I think there's another artifact out here somewhere. Yeah, 300 gold caravan. That's pretty insane. I don't know if I've ever had a gold caravan quite like that. These are some uh, nice little islands here. Could make use of these. I need a boat to come back. Yeah, so I'm gonna have to make use of that boat. Oh, that's too bad. I gotta get engineering this turn, or I will f feel bad about myself. Can we do that? Just gotta keep expanding. Uh, can we do it? Can we do it? Got a bunch of settlers ready for this boat, that's for sure. I don't think that's worth it. Nah. Okay. Let's just, I think he's all done. He's all done. Oh, looks like we're going to hit engineering this turn. <laughs> Thanks, Cholo. Appreciate that, man. Um, oh, I know. That's true. Good point about the whale. I almost forgot about that. 
the English have a great builder, but I can't do anything about that until I get navigation. See what we got here? We got this. Look at that guy. So I'm going to have to build that over here somewhere. Just send a boat over there. Uh, yeah, there's no room for another city on that island. So, 118 plus 75. Is that goodness? There? Yeah, that's just getting us there. It's very important to do these things in uh, one turn. This Legion, this Legion just needs to stop. It's time to stop, Mr. Legion. Nobody thinks it's funny. Or cool. Get out of here. You don't belong here, buddy. Let's see. How much culture? So we're getting 28 culture. Nothing that great quite yet. Alrighty. Let's get us another dumpy little city right here. What the heck was that? Did you just see that movement over there? I swear I saw some movement. Alrighty. Guess he's gonna have to go over here. There's a good little city for this guy. Bunch of trade tiles here. And here's another good city, so. Very good, very good. Follow him, follow him. All right. Gonna have to set these all to library. Get them out of my hair. Stop complaining. I'm gonna have to move this guy over here. There's no more room left. So these guys need the boat. <laughs> yeah, so true. Can never have enough cities. Feel that I'm going to need. Okay. What? A Where's like the prime real estate on this map right now? I've hit up these little islands, which are nice. But if I had a boat, where would I even go at this point? I don't even really see <laughs> where a lot of land, there's a little bit right here. That's not that great though. I don't even have a barracks, do I? That's terrible. No barracks. <laughs> the World Bank. Nice. Oh, can't quite get invention in one turn. That's too bad. <sighs> Not good. Got a bunch of settlers here, but nowhere to really... I guess I'll have to send them up there. I don't really see any alternatives. I don't know what's over here. I feel like it's going to send it there. and that Because that's where it sent the wall. So I feel like the... I feel like I'm going to get a ship right there once I get navigation. I mean, I can plant that one there. Eh, so hopefully there's something over there I can go find.
Anyone else need build instructions? How about you? This chick laughs like Tupac. Ha <laughs> ha! Hmm. Alright, that's gonna have to be good enough right now. Get out of here! Decent little city right here. Uh, kind of struggling for tiles at this point, so I'm gonna have to expand out. There's just nothing here for me. I could pop down right here, but it overlaps just way too much. It's really a waste. When it gets so overlapped like that, at that point, you really just want to say, you know what? Maybe it's time to move on. Get out of here. The non-forest, huh? Kind of running out of area to put things. So, let's get our boat operation rolling. Put that guy right there. Get him set up. You know, actually, I might actually, despite the tree, I might actually want them right there because there's less conflict with the other tiles there. I think that might be a little better. Oh, man, it hurts. Um, anything else? Plenty of gold, so I'm really, my boats are... Not keeping up with my ability to expand at this point. But maybe that's kind of a good thing. I mean, that market is kicking some butt right here. Getting some good gold. Be nice to slap a bank here, but don't really have the money to do that quite yet. And no one wants to invade me at this point. I think there's another artifact out there. Yeah, they should have a city counter at like the top of the screen. I feel like that's something I always want to know. We need industrialization. That's what we really need. Um, let's get steam first, though. Oh. oh, look at that. I didn't get... So, navigation I couldn't get first. Alright, yeah. Right, the Spanish are in the game, so I'm gonna have to get a some steam power. Can I get it in two turns at least? That would be decent. Alright, tired of that guy talking to me. Uh anyone else want to jump on the boat here? How about you? Might as well send one over there. Can always use some extra settlers. Doesn't hurt. Send them on the boat. Get over there, buddy. should say city count right on this little diplomacy panel. That'd be pretty sweet. Whew. These guys are so cheap. Love it. Cheap settlers. It's beautiful. 
Ah, oh, look at that. That's going to be a nice little city right here, boy. I tell you what. Fish, die, and gain. If you see me play online, Mr. Minecraft, you might change your mind when you realize I have very little multiplayer skill. Multiplayer is really its own thing. It has its own... I mean, this people on there have played th thousands of games. I've looked at their win-loss ratio. I'm like, are you serious? That's a lot of games. So I have a lot of catching up to do. A lot. That's for sure. Let's get us some steam power and a great person. Is there anything else? Nope, I don't think so. That's been asked for quite a lot. Um, I don't see why not. I'm just not sure that it'll be interesting, as interesting as people think it would be. <laughs> Kyoto. Uh, uh, all right, I guess we're done with our turn here. Ooh. Oh boy. Ugh, so bad. Alright, that guy's not doing anything for a long time. Civ 6 is amazing. Think so? I, I'm not sure. I watched someone play it, and I just wasn't sure. I was like, I don't know. Oh no, I left this guy behind. Now we're doomed. What are you thinking, like free-for-all games? Head-to-head? -head? <laughs> can never have enough poon jobs. There's another poon job. How many poon jobs do we have? Need more. More poon jobs. Yeah, I cannot keep up with my gold count here. Uh, maybe once I get steam power, it'll be a little easier to keep up with how much gold I have. What's going on here? What's going on here? Get out of here, Spanish. So I got a cruiser in Madras. And I can get industrialization. Very important technology, of course. Free for all is four player, I believe. Uh, let's see here. <laughs> uh, damn, I cannot build these guys fast enough. All right, where's this boat? Here we go. Let's go explore. And expand. Let's get these boys on the boat here. And go forth and conquer. See what we can find. Get some cool islands and get to do some catch up here. We got to get a good time here. I mean, we can take advantage of these islands right here, actually. Yeah. 
Not a whole lot. Uh, library, library. This is a three city island right here. That's it. That's all I can do. No! Library. This is one terrible island. There's like nothing good on this island. It's completely booty. What the heck am I gonna do with this artist? Everyone has more than I do. Of course this guy's a million miles away where he could be actually be useful. Whatever, just run him over. Man, that's a nice tree. Look at that rubber. Actually making use of rubber. Behold. Down here in Chittagong. And move this guy over here. Out here. City count time. Twenty seven. Alright, not too bad, I suppose. I don't have time to go mess with this guy. Too busy, man. Too busy. Maybe I should rush a spy and go. Go steal him. <laughs> Multiplayer build no units. That will never happen. <laughs> All right. English are mad at me. Get a spy on this boat. Oh, look what I found. Yeehaw! We done found Atlantis, boys. What are we going to get out of this? Mm, feudalism, university, gunpowder? Okay. I could use a new... Uh, I feel like I should rush a barracks. Somewhere. I don't have any good production cities, though. None. These are all... Eh, should have... Should have left one good production city. Like, this probably should have been it, to be honest. Like, should not have expanded out of there, I think. No, it's not going to give me railroad. I don't really have any good good production here. Oh, 
All right, university's a good one. And that doesn't hurt, that's for sure. There's some kind of island over here I can make use of. I gotta run this guy's sorry butt all the way over here. Alright, getting a huge tech next turn. We're getting industrialization. Always a game changer. Half cost courthouse. Yeah. Could be useful if you're doing like a culture victory and you got Magna Carta. Maybe we'll go that route. Who knows? We'll see. Railroad is definitely a big time tech you want to have at this point. Uh, right. Wonderful. Some kind of island going on up there. Mm, question is, do we want a city right here? I don't think so. Maybe in the next tile over, though. <laughs> wow, got a barbarian hut over here. Wonderful. All right, Stevie P. See you, man. Thanks for joining up. All right, let's see. What do we got? What do we got? This guy's going to go right here. Another artifact over here somewhere. Not quite sure. Um, damn, getting close. Railroad in one turn would be beautiful. Looks like it's not happening though. Just a little bit behind what I would like to be at. Doing our best though here. <laughs> Cathedral. Uh. Two sixty four per turn. All right, so have we got our five hundred gold? No. I'm gonna get my uh, five hundred gold great person next turn. It looks like. So that is cool. See how this goes. This guy. Get out of here, man. Great person. So that's coming next turn. Whoa! Are you serious? Where did that guy come from? Wow. Okay. Hmm. 
I say screw it. Just settle right here. Oh, I can't even make use of this resource here. Oh well. It's gotta. It's gotta do it. It's a lot of juicy trade tiles here, so whatever. There we go. <laughs> uh, this guy's serious. <laughs> what is wrong with you? What is wrong with you? What is wrong with you? That is so bad. I hope you feel bad about that. Dude, you see that barbarian? That was crazy. something cool man build something cool okay I don't know that I could even get in there to try to steal because of democracy that's kind of a bummer now that I think about that like what am I gonna do I can't, there's too much culture stuff all over the place. So, yeah. Give me a great builder. I need a great builder. I want to build something great. Alright. Corporation. Let's take a look at this tech tree. But Zach, you can't even, uh, you can't run a settler into enemy territory. It's considered an act of war. Thomas Edison, huh? Science? Okay. Let's see. I don't have any good production cities, which is kind of ruining my day. That really does. That makes me feel pretty sad. Yeah. Culture victories. Uh, I just feel like culture just generally takes a little longer. 
We could go for culture here. I don't see why not. Nuclear power. Uh, Alright, let's just hold off on this guy for now. Think this guy could take him? Maybe. Uh, <laughs> feeling a little nervous about it. I don't feel like waiting though. Way to go, buddy. You're a big boy now. There's still an artifact in this game somewhere. Mommy, wow! I'm a big kid now. Boom, boom. Nuke the English. Nuke them. Nuke them till they glow, Joe. Woo! Risky. These units are lost. Lost in my empire. Just running around. What are you guys doing? I don't even know what you're doing. What are you doing? Screw it. What? Are you serious? Uh, let's do a quick run of these cities to see if they even make any sense. Do you make sense? You make sense. You don't make sense. Two, three. One. All right. Good enough. Whoa, what's going on here? <laughs> Name the city. <laughs> Name the city after you guys. Yeah, that could be pretty exciting. I think that would be pretty nice. Very nice. Nice thing to bond with my viewers, you know? Ooh. Huh. Might as well. Man, that city is rotten. Terrible. Rotten, no good, very bad city. Heck of a lot of production over there. Alright, let's get that. Grow that city finally. These terrible cities. What is wrong with you guys? Get it together. Are you even trying? That's, nice. That's not a bad little city right there. Alright. Damn, three turn corporate. Ugh. What is this? I really need to f try to focus on uh, having one good production city. At least then I can pop out one good wonder. I should have had one good production city. Like, I'm thinking like right around here. But really, I didn't have a lot of good tree spots. I, feel, I don't feel. Well.
Wow, there's a lot of empty space over here. Oh, look at this. Oh, I could totally get this spy over here now. Uh, if I can get that great builder, that'd be a game changer for sure. Whoa, whoa, all of a sudden their culture went crazy again. Doesn't make any sense. Yeah, I'm at war with him. Uh, how about that? <laughs> okay. Okay. Seen it all. Seen it all. It doesn't even phase me. It doesn't phase me, boys. Just another day. Think that shocks me? Forget about it. That's what I get for not having a barracks. That's what I get. That's what I get. Build a barracks or pay the price. Mass media. Plus one could be nice right about now. My, what nice cities you have. Why is England's culture like flipping out every other turn? This is going to have to be... <laughs> I think we got to go for attack victory. Uh, oh, man. Because we just have to, guys. We just have to. <laughs> Nuke the English. Yeah, that was pretty dirty. I don't know about that. That was dirty. Don't feel too good about that. Hooray! Alright. Question is, do they have a spy? All right. Um, this guy's got to go somewhere. I am terrified of that little galley right there, so I'm going to get the heck out of here. Oh, he could still knock me out. Oh, man. I cannot. You serious? Oh, I can get up there. Look. Wow, look at that. Look at this, guys. Look what I found. 
What? No. Oh. Look at this. Whoa, stop it. <laughs> Buy the East India Company with gold? Holy cow. Are you a maniac? Stop. All right. <laughs> Gally is fearsome, man. I don't know what to do about that guy. Oh, yeah. Settling the great dude right there. I can do it. I can do it. I believe in me. Trade fair? Think so? I'm listening. I'm listening. Let's hear the reason. Um. <laughs> I need at least a battleship to contend with the British galley. I need it. Atomic theory. Wow. Judge me all you want, but I really want printing press. I think that's the key to victory right now. It's pretty good gold going on right now. one population I think trade fair over there I feel like I don't know about that man go with this cruiser gonna have to find something to do with him it's hard to go wrong with this thing On the bright side, we did get got got our East India Trade Company, so that's uh, that'll help us out a lot. We'll be taken up a little bit better. Really want to get something like that much sooner, though. Uh, what to do with a stinking boat? Not a lot for him to do at this point. Go make a terrible city over here. Please, sir, don't sink me. Honestly, I like the Egyptians, I have to say. I think they're pretty cool.
You know, there's an artifact over here. I'm really wondering what it is. There is something here. Just not sure quite what that is. Arabs have some pretty nice culture over here. I can I'm not even pushing that pushing back their uh culture that much. Wow, the city's bonkers. <laughs> oh yeah, look at this city. The beast. How about that city? Not bad, huh? What the heck is going on over here? Nice tile use here, guys. Sleep at the wheel. Alright. What are you guys doing? Nothing. Nothing good. What are you guys doing? Up here. Meh. This one's a little better. I uh, used the great scientist. He has been squandered. Oh, look at this guy. There's a good one. Going for one turn here. How are we looking? Getting there, getting there. One more. Alright. There we go. <laughs> uh, I'm going to live stream my own death. Because my time is going to be terrible. Oh, did you see that? Oh, whoa. What's going on here? Got some magic warping going on. That's good. Mass media is pretty nice. That plus one. Can't hit on that plus one bonus. Atomic theory, mass media, flight. Oh man, if I could rush advanced flight, that would be a lot better. Oh, stupid great explorer. This game knows how to screw you over. Get out of here. Stop talking to me. Whoa, dude. This guy's crazy. 
Go ahead and rush this guy. <laughs> yeah, right. They teleport units like it's their job. Hey, so what other games do you guys like? I'm just curious. Obviously, we all enjoy Civ Rev, but how do you guys feel? What other? What are some other games you guys like to play? <laughs> Civ Five. <laughs> it must contain the name Civ. There are no other games. Ocarina of Time. Just go left for dead. Come on, man. You know I got a great gold city over here. Overwatch and Borderlands 2, Fable 2. Fable 2, I played Fable 1. I never played Part 2. I played Left 4 Dead. I played, uh... Never played the newer Zeldas. I played the old ones. All right, I think I can rush some libraries and get some goodies, some good. Let's see, what do I got here? Let's rush some libraries, make this one turn. Any good cities that could actually use? I might flip that city. Battleground, <laughs> Diablo 2. Yeah, I love Diablo 2 and StarCraft. I used to be a hardcore addicted to StarCraft. That game is, that is by far, it's a good game, but Starcraft is like the most stressful game I've ever played in my life. It's like not healthy. There's no way playing that game is good for your health at a competitive level. It is just like the most stressful job. It's like a job. Not even a game. Yeah. It really is pretty rough. I love it. It's just, I don't know. It's like too much, man. It's like. I lost more weight playing Minecraft than. Um, I lost more weight playing StarCraft than any any other diet or anything like that man that because that game you cannot leave the computer so you end up just glued to your chair and like then you just start up the next game i would never get a snack uh, my weight dropped like crazy <laughs> yeah And wrist surgeries. Yeah, you know, I, like I enjoy Diablo 2. When I see these guys doing speed runs, and I'm like, man, you're doing speed runs all the time and doing all this crazy. You're pushing yourself to it's. I feel like you're a, an electronic circuit without a resistor on it. It's like you're just pushing yourself so hard, and there's like no break. It's just like I cannot be good for you. Like Diablo 2 speed runs are cool and everything, but I just don't feel that. I enjoy the game that way that much. I know it's interesting to watch, 
But uh, that cannot be healthy. Yeah, like I don't want to end up with all kinds of like, carpal tunnel problems and all this kind of stuff. Like that sounds pretty terrible. That sounds awful. <laughs> Exhaustion at the land cafe. Give me a nice little city. Uh, let's see. I might play a little Diablo 2 after tonight's live stream. So if you guys want to stick around, I might be up late tonight. So Totally up to you guys. Free to join in. I've been kind of itching to play that a little bit more on my live stream. Still not there yet? In Diablo 2? Um, I like the expansion characters. I like the I like the druid and I like the assassin. I like the uh windy windy druid's probably my favorite. All kinds of tornadoes. All kinds. And I like trap assassins. Um, sorceress, of course. It's like the law. You have to play a sorceress. Alrighty. There we go. We made it. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Do I have anyone encroaching? Lady, what are you doing? What are you doing? What about you? What are you doing? Just leave me alone, man. I'm not trying to have war with you. I would like your little gold person, though. That'd be kind of cool. I could get that. That'd be pretty cool. Thank you. Yeah. I, I, I don't really enjoy, like, hacking it and all that. I pretty much like doing Battle.net legit characters. Feels more official. Yeah. All right. What year is it? Nine fifty. Whoa! Get out of here, buddy. Let's do science. How do you get? other characters. Are you talking about the expansion? I am the Pacers? Is that true? Are you really the Pacers? Don't think I need that. Can I get mass media? Uh, that would be nice just to grow my city. Get out of here, Spain. Leave me alone. Dude, where is this artifact?
Man, I'm con confused. I only have two settlers on this island, so I'm gonna have to make them good spots. It's looking like here and there. All right. Hey. hey, hey. Like they didn't want a piece. They were scared. All right. Okay. Looks like we're flipping a city right here. So that's cool. Getting mass. Dude, there's supposed to be one more. <laughs> Where is this thing? I cannot find it. I must find it. Where are you? I don't know where this thing is, but... Maybe that's it. I don't know. Somewhere around here, there's a... Artifact. Oh, uh, yeah, you're a little late. Genocide, welcome. Good to see you. We're a little late, but uh, that's alright. We're, we're going to see... Uh, coming up on a tech victory here. Let's see how this pans out here. This is one of those games where it didn't really have a clear shift towards one victory or another. Could have used a better starting positioning. Actually, let's take a look at that. Like, where should I have ran on this map? Yeah, it's looking like India Tech. Not as good as the Zulu. The Zulu had a better game. Oh, uh, man, I don't want to research that, but it's like not giving me any great people or anything like that. What can I do? What can I do? There's another Punjab. A lot of, a lot of tech, getting somewhere. Ooh, give me space flight, advanced flight at least something. <laughs> Such crap. Oh, what have I done to deserve this? Why me? Two twenty two. Three thirty three. <laughs> veteran night. Yes. Everything's going right in this game. 
Eat stroganoff. Got pottery. It's true. Whenever I feel down, I just remember. At least I have that. Uh, 1025. Oh, man. I'm not getting enough culture or anything. Such a bummer. Wow, I only have two culture milestones? That is rotten. Ugh. Gonna have to get flight. Oh, got these guys. That's cool. Got me some free stuff. Free stuff. Yeah, Genocide. I hit 200 followers just today, actually, during this stream. So that was pretty cool. Pretty big deal, man. I mean... Really, all I stream is Civilization Revolution, and I got to 200 followers. So that's pretty amazing. I mean, it's not really a game that's on the radar. It's not like I'm sitting here gunning for the most popular game and just trying to grow as fast as humanly possible. Or something like that. Well, yeah, you know, sometimes serving in an underserved niche community can actually get you followers more quickly, I suppose. I don't know. It just seemed to have worked out pretty well so far. I mean, I read all these stories about people spending like half a year just trying to get enough followers. Ha, <laughs> King of Civ. Well. Yeah, got a... Certainly the king, in terms of uh, documentation, no one else is documenting what they're doing in Civ, so uh, here I am, trying to get people pumped up about Civ. Man, this is a lot. I don't even want, I need tech. I don't even need that wonderful, that's a nice tile, but I just I should probably go through these real quick. Um, very nasty. That city is very nasty. Got Punjab, Calcutta, Kolhapur. <laughs> Here's the thing, though. You know, if if they do release Civ Rev Two, that would be amazing. Because I'd basically be the uh, probably the main guy that's known for doing videos on this stuff. So. That would be pretty cool. Until that time, I'll just stream this and a few other things. I'm thinking about streaming a, a couple other games here pretty soon. Just to mix it up on pop and more search pop up and more search results. Alright, these guys are computer has no idea how to Manage these cities. Wow. Oh, can't get that. Eight. Wow. Here, let's pretend to build that. Yeah, I don't think you have anything there. Can I get that? All right. All right, this guy needs to work that. Got to think you to probably help. Oh yeah, there's no doubt the YouTube channel was really, really the key there. Uh, it's not because of Twitch at all. It's not people weren't discovering me on Twitch by searching civilization or anything like that. It was just almost entirely the YouTube channel. I mean, it got had like 33 followers the first day. It just kind of amazed me how uh, dedicated Civ players were. 
I was I mean like oh this game's nine years old nine years old. I don't I don't think anyone's gonna be interested in content at this point. Wrong. Dead wrong. Yeah, I think people are too quick to write off a classic game. You know, and I really started thinking about it. I was like, well, Diablo 2 is what, seventeen years old? People are still playing Super Mario three. Final Fantasy. EverQuest. People are like they just came out with a new uh, EverQuest server called Agnar. It's a progression server where basically they simulate the release of EverQuest and then come out with new expansions every three months. And uh, people are just going crazy. There's like I was uh, they had like 500 plus viewers. This is a game that came out in 1999. A game that I love, but it's like just wow, that's amazing for a game to persevere that long. The Civ 3 community. Dude, I'm not even kidding. There's a guy at my church. He, I was talking to him. He's like, I was telling him about my channel and everything. He's like, oh, yeah, I play Civ 2. I play Civilization Part 2. I'm like, Part 2? What? What are you doing playing Civ 2? And it was pretty interesting because I was talking about stuff in Civ Rev. He's never played it. And he was like surprised. I was like surprised that so many things actually still made sense to him. Like so, I guess like not that much has changed. Um, so I guess like he knew what Leonardo's workshop was. He knew what uh, howitzers were and all these different things. So it's kind of interesting to see that he. I could still talk to him about Civ, and he knew what I was talking about in so many ways. I didn't really expect him to know all that. All uh, right, let's see here. Uh, all right, these cities are looking solid. I'm digging it. Good cities. Um, how do you guys feel about those stupid silk tiles? I always feel like it's a waste. Here we go. Go ahead and rush that. Yeah, honestly, if I was on a desert island and I couldn't play any other game, I think this would definitely be top three, I would say. That's saying a lot, because i played a lot of games in my life. Could definitely choose from a lot of different things. It's just, the I th they did a really, really good job on the random generation of these maps. And so you always really feel like you have a new experience. Um, Alright. Well, I wonder how much tech we have at this point. Screwing up some of these tiles here. Alright, 1820. So, went through managing all that garbage. Bought us about 200 tech. You know, there's a guy, it's really interesting to me, there's a guy, his name was uh, Flory Worry. Here, I'll type it in here. This is his name. Flory Worry. He's on Twitch. He streams Europa Universalis Part 4. And, you know, it's like really nothing that special about his stream. He's just kind of like a, you know, maybe a guy like my age, like in his 30s. Uh... He knows how to play the game well. And he gets like 500 plus people on his stream. I was like, damn, that's pretty damn good. That's like a legit level of uh, live streaming. And, you know, that's pretty damn good. So, playing a game that is not that big. It's really just not. But I think Twitch really looks for that. They're looking for people that play the, the less traveled, you know, the less. He takes those niche games and then attracts the players to the Twitch platform. I think they kind of look for that, and they're more willing to partner people that play those less, uh, the less beaten paths, as I, as I could say. Yay, an airplane, guys. We got an airplane. Come on, man. Can I get a cool... Yeah, that makes sense, man. 
I mean, the best part is talking to people that all love the game, right? Like, we're just gamers that really love this game. We appreciate all the strategy. People come in, they have different ideas. They, some, you know, sometimes they even help the person playing the game. Help because it's hard to realize every single thing. Wow, an airplane. Dude, I just want to find... I'm so confused. Where is this thing? Dude, is it up here? What is going on? What the heck? I still can't find it. Yo, let me tell you, let me explain something. I'm so mad right now. There's a guy on speedruns.com. I'm just going to go ahead and complain for a little bit. This guy was saying that I should be doing like speedruns of Civ Rev based on time and not turn number. I'm like, dude, this is a turn-based game. Nobody measures performance of this game based on time. I mean, no I mean, I understand speedruns generally do, but no one no one creates a leaderboard based on time for a game like this. So it's like, whatever, man. I'll just make my own leaderboard. That's kind of stupid. <laughs> yeah, he kind of blew my mind. It's pretty clear that he doesn't even know what he's talking about. Because he, first of all, he was comparing the Nintendo DS version of uh to the console versions and i was watching it and i'm like this game has totally different timings this game has i mean nothing you can't compare that to uh to the console versions it's pretty dumb all right let's see what do we got here it's a nice city right here let's go ahead and rush university Let's get this in one turn. We can use our city report. Whoa, look at all that gold. 48. Who's got a lot of tech? Calcutta. What's got like the most? 57 is pretty good. Okay. How much more do I need here? Two more, really. Yeah, so this is a nice way to kind of see what your good cities are here. Go down your city report. Punjab's looking good. Good old Punjab. Love Punjab. Yeah. Yeah, I don't know. I, I wasn't going to argue with the guy. He was the moderator. He's the moderator of Civilization Revolution. His name's Kitty Hat. And he does time-based speedruns. Yeah. Whatever, man. I just shook my head. Took my ball and went home. Go make my own stupid leaderboard. Ooh, nice one. Oh yeah, look at that, one turn. We done got us a bomber. It's strong enough. Alright, let's move this bomber over yonder. Just in case. Just in case. Oh, 
Oh my goodness. Where is this thing? I'm just like amazed how much trouble I'm having finding this thing. Cannot find it. It's good. Well, maybe I should have just built a bomber right there. <laughs> you really think that was the best video? I have some cool ideas. I have a Gandhi uh, video idea. I got there's something I've never seen on video or even mentioned, even mentioned <laughs> in regard to nuclear weapons. I'm not even going to tell you what it is. I'm just going to make you. I'm going to make you guess. The suspense will be so intense. Not telling you what it is. It's my secret. It's a trade secret. Oh my goodness. Where Dude, look at these tile. Oh my. These are awesome islands. That's a show, oh man. That hurts. Oh, that hurts. It hurts that I did not use those. Oh boy. Dude, where is this artifact? It's driving me crazy. Oh man, I got a pretty good idea. Can't tell you, but it's a good idea. Dude, I'm so confused. Where is this thing? It's blown my mind. Wow. Is it up here? Where is it? Oh, is this it? Oh, I found it. <laughs> no, it's not self-nuking, Medusa. Goodness gracious. Finally found this stupid thing. What is this thing going to give me? Anyone know? Let's figure it out. Hanging gardens. It's going to give me hanging gardens. Hanging gardens, here we come. Yeah. Wow, in Delhi, where it was totally useless. Way to go. Now, if, um... If invention has been discovered and no one has hanging gardens, that's what it'll give you. Nah, it can't be the Great Lib, I think, because of uh, one of those texts. I always forget which one it obsoletes it. Do I dare? I don't think so. Damn. I cannot. I have no great scientist or anything. I can't speed this up. Whoa. Sky for real. Get out of here, buddy. Get out of my house. Uh-oh. What do I do, boys? Coming for me? I have no... <laughs> none of them. I never built a barracks. I can't defend myself. This has been a messy game. But really, we haven't done that badly. Pretty good for a messy game. What do you think? 
Whoa, dude. Can build SDI defense. Holy cow. So cool. Oh, now I get a scientist. That's great. That's wonderful. Thank you for being completely worthless. <sighs> I should just sell you. Yay. <laughs> yeah, that's painful. What's it gonna be, boys? When are we getting this thing on the road? Alright, habitation. What else? What else? Wow, look at you. Your propulsion, I believe. Anyone else have a lot of bank hammers? Anyone? You got a few. All right. Yeah, I'm trying to get the four props for propulsion. Anyone got some good production? Uh, nope. Really? You haven't rushed one yet? What's the matter with you? Uh, this one's got all right. Yeah, this is gonna this will be good. I'll be able to get this out. Don't think that'll be an issue. Own them grew. Did I build four or five? I don't remember. Doesn't matter. Uh oh. What are they doing? Attacking with an archer? Doesn't make any sense. Onum grew. Here we go. <laughs> Nobody knows what Onum Grew means. <laughs> uh. <laughs> follow him, follow him. How about the fob him? All right. Let's see how many subscribers I have on YouTube. Are we doing better? Thirty twenty six. Thirty twenty six. <laughs> Beef struck it. <laughs> 
75 year travel time. Let's go. <laughs> oh yeah, I won't have to commit super good today. Thank goodness. I kind of like being alive. It's pretty good. Alrighty. That was wonderful. To be honest, not the hottest game ever. But I honestly gotta say, I think we did pretty well considering the circumstances. Think how late we really got. We got a late expansion start, man. It was nice that we got that walk in, but we kind of paid for it in terms of distance. We were just so far from everything else. And we didn't have like a lot of gold early. I feel like you really want to be in a central location. Uh, what do we got? <laughs> 1300 AD. <laughs> uh, so close. I said less than or equal to, I think, right? Seppuku is when you feel uh, it's ritualistic suicide when you've brought dishonor to your family or your nation. This should be interesting. See if they can take that city down. They could do it. Oh! Looks bad. Oh, looks bad for him. Oh, it's not looking too good. Oh, you didn't even get one guy. Good try, though. Uh-oh. Oh! Well, I tell you, my defenders, they know what they're doing. Yeah, they do. That was back in the old times. Not so much a modern day thing. Alright. I think we got it. We got it! We did it. We're the best. I mean, 1300. Not too bad, man. Not too bad. Thirteen hundred AD, and that was pretty not really the greatest game. <laughs> oh, wow, I'm better than Winston Churchill. I know. Not earlier than a thousand AD. That's pathetic. This was a really embarrassing stream. I mean, 
5 AD is, is kind of 500 AD is really the new standard. If you're not doing 500 AD tech victories on totally random maps, something wrong with you. I mean, I'm a blockbuster video state champion. My, you know, my standard is a little bit higher. You know, I expect more from myself. Yeah. Uh, a little bit depressed. I'm gonna have to persevere. <laughs>